Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is our first video in a series called Caking with Kids. My daughter Shelby is in the studio today and we're gonna make some super fun cupcakes. Our family loves movie night and movie night is not complete without movie snacks. So we're gonna make some really cute cupcakes that look like milkshakes and buckets of popcorn. It's gonna be a great project that you can try with your kids at home. So come hang out in the studio with us and I'm gonna help you cake it till you make it. I'm Becky, cake artist, wife, and mom to three kiddos in Kentucky. When I started making cakes, I had no idea that a fun hobby would turn into a passion and a thriving business. But I couldn't do any of this without my team, my family. We don't know how to do everything, but we figure it out as we go, and we have fun doing it. So come hang out in the kitchen, and let me help you cake it till you make it. Shelby's eight years old. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. And she's gonna be my helper in the kitchen today. So we're gonna make popcorn cupcakes and milkshake cupcakes. You ready to work? Awesome, we've already washed our hands and we're ready to go. So I've baked a dozen vanilla cupcakes and for our popcorn buckets, I've put these in cute little red and white striped wrappers and our milkshakes are just gonna be in basic silver wrappers. Like a milkshake like a milkshake <laughs> okay all right so to make our popcorn cupcakes we're gonna put buttercream on them but we gotta have popcorn right so we're gonna make our popcorn out of little mini marshmallows whoa, whoa, whoa. these are tiny they are tiny but this was a giant bucket of popcorn we want it to look like it's got lots of popcorn in there right <laughs> yeah okay so but is popcorn just white no. No, it's not. It's yellow it's and uh, deliciousness. It's yellow and delicious. So, we're going to put our mini marshmallows in a bowl. And we're going to put a little bit of yellow food coloring in this little cup. Okay? Just like that. It looks orange to me. Yeah. It does look orange, but it's yellow. I promise. But once it makes in, it's... Yeah, it'll definitely look yellow when we mix okay, it in. Okay, now, this is just a simple food coloring that you can pick up at any grocery store or craft store. So, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna squirt some buttercream on here, and then you're gonna take the cupcake Dump it into, <laughs> hold it into there, and get some popcorn on it. So now we're gonna move on to our milkshake cupcakes. What's your favorite kind of milkshake? Chocolate from Arby's. Chocolate from Arby's, that's pretty tasty. Oh yeah, that was My delicious. favorite is strawberry. But, so we've got our vanilla cupcakes here, right? So what comes in a big poofy pile on top of milkshakes? Whipped cream. Whipped cream. Mm -hmm. and and it's always cherry. all swirly, right? Yeah, and a cherry. Yep. So we're gonna take our buttercream, which is just in a regular bag. Simple tip, I like to put my buttercream in one bag and use a separate bag with a piping tip. That way I can switch colors and tips super easy without having to wash a ton of stuff. Yeah. So we're gonna pop this right in here. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna ice them. And then for the chocolate syrup, we're gonna use chocolate ganache. Oh, yummy. Okay, 
So, milkshakes need a cherry on top, right? Uh, I don't have any real cherries here today. Although if you had some, you could put some on top. But what if we make cherries out of red starburst? What do you think? I think that'd be cool. These are really hard though. So I'm actually gonna put them in the microwave for a couple seconds to soften them up so we can yeah, make then them then look then like, fall. yeah. Okay, so we put our Starburst in the microwave for about nine or 10 seconds, and that makes them a lot softer and easier to use. Okay, so, so this is super it? pliable, yep. Yeah. We're just gonna kind of squeeze it together the same way you would Play-Doh, right? Yeah, except you wanna roll it into a ball. Yeah, so here, I'm gonna give you that one. You roll it into a ball. Way ahead of you. I'm here just on it today. <laughs> Okay, and then cherries usually have like a little indentation, right, where the stem would go? Yeah. So we'll just take, you could use a toothpick or anything. We're just gonna use this little skewer and we're just gonna make a little indentation to make our cherry. Cute, huh? What's the best part of making cupcakes, Shelby? Eating them. Right. Let's dig it. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. All right. <laughs> if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get a heads up every time we post a new video. Happy caking! Bye!